not just 5'9", Isaiah Thomas is more than five inches shorter than the average NBA point guard. But despite his size, he scored more points per 48 minutes last season than all-stars like Kyrie Irving and Damian Lillard. What aspects of your game do you feel really separate you out from everybody else? Shooting and just driving to the hole. The closer you are to the rim, the bigger the guys are. And I feel like I can finish around those guys no matter how tall they are. So to test his ability to finish in the paint, we put Thomas through our under over test. First, he'll have to go under a limbo bar set just three feet above the ground. Then immediately pop up to get his shot off over a 12 foot, two inch tall structure. That represents the defensive range of a big man like Minnesota's Carl Anthony Towns. Everybody ready? Go! There she is. Boom! But Thomas doesn't just stop at three feet. He goes all the way down to two feet, nine inches. So how does he go from lane driving limbo to swishing over a seven footer? Data from our motion tracking system reveals that he drops his center of mass to about a foot and a half. That's a height about 13 inches lower than a typical fire hydrant. This allows him to stay balanced as he goes into attack mode. Even with only two feet of separation, Thomas's 70 degree launch angle on his floater means a defender would have to reach 13 and a half feet in the air to block the shot. That's higher than the highest max touch on record set right here in the lab by Dwight Howard. It makes me realize how short I really am. Now the launch angle on his floater doesn't just help Thomas shoot over taller defenders. Compared to a flatter 45 degree shot, this sharp angle increases the area of the hoop the ball can pass through by about 33%. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkis. Hey!